Please all kneel for Oratio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Luis, San Pedro Calunzot. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust with you. Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Please all stand for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she goes by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, 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 
in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this holy eucharist i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault and i ask blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray o god who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path give all who for the faith they profess are accounted christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of christ and to strive after all that does it honor through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the book of Exodus. A new king who knew nothing of Joseph came to power in Egypt. He said to his subjects, "Look how numerous and powerful the people of the children of Israel are growing, more so than we ourselves. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them to stop their increase, otherwise in time of war they too may join our enemies to fight against us." and so leave our country accordingly taskmasters were set over the children of israel to oppress them with forced labor thus they had to build for pharaoh the su- supply cities of pitom and ramses yet the more they were oppressed the more they multiplied and spread the egyptians then dreaded the children of israel and reduced them to cruel slavery making life bitter for them with hard work in mortar and brick and all kinds of field work the whole cruel fate of slaves pharaoh then commanded all his subjects throw into the river every boy that is born to the hebrews but you may let all the girls live the word of the lord thanks be to god our help is in the name of the lord Our help is in the name of the Lord. Had not the Lord been with us, let Israel say, had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not leave us a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We were rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven
the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples apostles do not think that i have come to bring peace upon the earth i have come to bring not peace but the sword for i have come to set a man against his father a daughter against his mother her mother and a daughter in law against her mother in law and one's enemies will be those of his household whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me and whoever loves son or a daughter more than me is not worthy of me and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me whoever finds his life will lose it and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it whoever receives you receives me and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward and whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man reward and whoever gives a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple amen i say to you he will surely not lose his reward when jesus finished giving these command commands to his disciples he went away from that place to teach and preach in their towns the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear sisters and brothers in christ the gospel of today is a continuation of what we listened yesterday jesus continues to prepare his apostles to continue his mission yesterday we heard jesus telling them go two by two and do not carry anything extra with you no money no baggage but just go and preach announce the good news and invite people to repent today he tells further this invitation to participate spreading god's mission involves sacrifice it comes as a price if we want to be people who involved in his mission we need to pay we need to pay the price it involves sacrifice he also tells them the importance of having undivided attention if disciples are not focused they are unfocused they may not be able to bring out the expected results thereby falling short of their mission or invitation to become close collaborator of jesus christ to be true disciples means to retain focus 
to be true disciples means to retain focus and persevere it is easy to begin it is easy to begin preaching it is easy to spread god's message but problem happens as we continue the same mission often we find difficult to continue the mission with the full life and enthusiasm that's why often we hear the stories of people losing their faith their hope as they continue spreading god's kingdom therefore god tells in today's gospel that we need to focus on jesus and jesus alone then we may be able to carry the cross the cross of not being able to understand at times what jesus wants us to do but in good faith when we are able to listen to the voice of the holy spirit voice of our conscience be sure god will show us the right path my dear brothers and sisters that we need to know through baptism through confirmation we are given the opportunity the tremendous responsibility to become god's visible face here on earth through our words and deeds we need to become jesus eyes hands legs in this world so that people may be able to experience jesus through our life as we continue to celebrate this holy eucharist let us pray that we may be able to understand the tremendous challenge involved in becoming his true disciple and be able to face the challenges that come on our way and may god bless each one of us prayer of the faithful the peace of christ is not an easy peace but the fruit of his obedience and suffering may the lord grant us the easter peace that conquers fear and reconciles us to god and to one another our response lord grant us your peace may peoples everywhere enjoy peace that comes with freedom and justice and not the kind of peace that is imposed by power and intimidation we pray lord grant, grant us, us your, your peace. peace may governments stop the production and trade of weapons and instead focus on food production finding cures for deadly viruses and giving rest and breathing space for the earth our common home we pray lord, lord grant, grant us, us your, your peace, peace. May peace reign in the family through respect and appreciation of differences among members and through concern for each other we pray. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. peace. May love be freely and generously expressed by three words. Please, thank you and sorry we pray. Lord, grant us your peace. May we recognize and serve Jesus in the person of the poor, the hungry, the thirsty, the sick and the handicapped we pray lord, lord grant, grant us, your, us peace. your peace lord our god through your son jesus you give us peace that the world cannot give help us to become instruments of your peace and so experience the beatitude of the peacemakers we ask this through christ our lord amen amen 
blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever pray friends that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god the almighty father May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We look upon the offerings of the church O Lord as she makes her prayer to you and grant that when consumed by those who believe they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord holy Father almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with a living faith and his coming in glory. we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without the end to be acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness may holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit lord remember your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope 
Ose, our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co in life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those who will receive communion, you do not have to leave your seats. The body stand. of Christ. Amen. Please stand and the Eucharistic ministers will approach you. Do not take off or put up your face shield. Just remove your face mask. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray having consumed these gifts we pray o lord that by our participation in this mystery its saving effects upon us may grow through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go for the mass is celebrated thanks be to god Of faith, grateful.